Hey everyone, Tim the Collect Jurassic. I'm here with a really cool news update around some awesome new Mattel Jurassic toys coming to the Mattel Creations platform. A little bit of review, this is their crowdfunding platform and their special release platform. That they've already had quite a few Jurassic items on since they debuted a couple years ago, but this latest one is honestly what we've all been waiting for as it's a proper crowdfunded project, meaning if they get enough people backing it, uh, it's going to go into production and with all kinds of extra goodies too. So let's jump right into this amazing set. This is the Jurassic Park Gates. It also includes the Ford Explorer, not just the one we've already gotten, but one with a premium level of detail too. And also there'll be some stretch goals that let you unlock even more for this set, including the uh, dinosaur paddock signage, Tim and Lex figures, premium figures with collector level detail. We also have the goat and of course the bull T-Rex from Lost World, which is just an amazing thing that we've all been waiting for. But let's dive into the official video first and take a look. <laughs> I think that video did a pretty good job uh, kind of outlining the whole campaign really quickly, but I want to dive into some of each of these items being offered with some high detail shots and kind of give my perspective and hopefully convey um, my excitement and enthusiasm for this set that I think I didn't know I wanted and been waiting to add to my collection, starting with those Jurassic Park gates, of course, and the Explorer that are part of that key package. But it's worth noting that if the uh, funding goal of 5,000, that initial funding goal, gets uh, accomplished in the first couple weeks, we are going to get these awesome paddock signs too that just look, um, they'll obviously add to the T-Rex one we already have as part of the Comic Con exclusive set, but now we'll be getting Dilophosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Gallimimus, Velociraptor, and of course, uh, Triceratops for that sick trike paddock too. We'll be getting all of these and they're you know obviously based off the movie with the icons, the no photography, no feeding. Um, so just a fun little bonus that we'll get alongside that base uh, explore and gate um, if we meet that funding goal under two weeks. But um, one thing you're getting no matter what is the official gates themselves, and they are um, quite high tech for just being a toy. They are electronic in a couple different ways, including you can see here the lights with the flames that flicker. There's also going to be some movie accurate sounds, and also the uh, doors themselves are motorized. So um, you'll be able to uh, actually engage the doors opening automatically just like the movie and the whole thing is 20 inches tall which is a pretty massive toy if you think about it here on the back we can see some of the uh, more detail in terms of the motorized hinges you can also see the speaker function on the back and get a little peek at some of the details in terms of like uh, texture and grit to the construction surfaces um, some of the different detail on the actual play base itself in terms of like looking muddy with plants, just a lot of detail 
packed into that, which is really, really cool. And then you can also see over there on the left, that little manual override panel, which is a really fun detail. Obviously, Nedry's hitting that in the movie to get through the gates, and they actually included it here. Um, so just, again, sort of illustrative of the amount of incredible detail that's um, that's going into this set, um, even down to painting the lever red and adding the arrow with a little bit of a label too. So um, I just love to see this stuff. And that really extends into the rest of this set, not just the gates, um, as you'll see here in a bit, um, but the next major item that comes with the base set. Again, if we hit 5,000 backers on this campaign, we'll also be getting this collector level detailed Ford Explorer that just looks so cool. I mean, I'm, honestly, Mattel's Ford Explorer was already a excellent release that they did. Um, granted, it was sort of a toy release, so it, ha it did cut a few corners in terms of detail. But this new version that comes with this crowdfunded project um, kind of writes all of those wrongs in terms of adding a little black around the windows, adding back in those decals around the tires. Um, they even added the little antennas. Um, I mean, they added basically every single piece of uh, missing detail from the uh, toy release. Um, it's probably the same exact toy itself. They just uh, went in with more paint and more decals to add even more detail. And I think just something simple like putting those, um, those Goodyear stickers on the tires just really makes this pop like it's something right off of the movie um and then of course there's even more detail inside which we'll get here to in a second but even on the exterior we can kind of look through the windows and see some of that enhanced detailing here in the back you can see what looks like a carrying case where you know tim finds the flashlight and there's brochures and all that in there so we're seeing that um through the back window we're also seeing Again, that black detailing around the window that looks really nice. And even on the back end, we can see the Ford Explorer um, logo filled in. The Explorer uh, model has got a little bit of silver paint flecking on it. So again, there's just lots of little tiny details on the exterior of the car before we even head inside. But the detail doesn't end there because inside we even have paint and decal on the entertainment console. Uh, which is just, I mean, the fact that they went that far into this is just, again, um, a real testament to how premium this uh, crowdfunded project aims to be. It also looks like there's something above the steering wheel, too. Maybe not glasses of water, but um, some other sort of film accurate detail. But I love the little Jurassic Park logo on the media console in the front. And of course, you remember from the movie in the back, they also had an, a CD-ROM or interactive screen back there. So they have that in this version as well. They have the Isla Nublar map, which is Again, um, a fun little callback to the movie. So uh, on top of just getting, you know, uh, accurately colored seats in the interior, we now have all these little fleshed out details that the previous Ford Explorer did not include um, on that toy. So um, this, along with the gate, again, are like the base offerings that you're going to be getting um, if you back this and it reaches 5,000 backers. But if it reaches 6,000 backers, we get uh, our first uh collector detail oriented uh tim murphy figure and he also comes with some fences too which is super fun we don't have a lot of great photos of the fences but if you watch that video you see they do light up which is awesome um and also tim himself has a post electrocuted paint detail so you can see his hair is kind of crazy so that's the first back the first like extra we get included with that base price uh, of the crowdfunding campaign uh, at six thousand backers so a thousand more than what's needed gets us Tim. Next, at eight thousand backers, again, that's three thousand more than the the minimum requirement to fund this. At eight thousand, for the price you pay, you'll also get the Buck T Rex from Jurassic Park: Lost World, one of the probably most anticipated uh, Hammond Collection repaints that we've gotten. I, I, um, we have the T Rex, of course, very popular toy, but um, the Buck T Rex seemed like an easy win uh, as far as repaints go. And something tells me this isn't a straight repaint. For one, it does have. Uh, it looks like a modified sculpt on the head. They also note that the tongue is actually posable. So there's actually a wire in there of some sort that lets you pose the tongue. Um, the feet are also rescaled to be more proportional to the T-Rex, which is addressing some major fan feedback uh, around Hammond Collection and the T-Rex in general. So this buck looks like to be, I wouldn't call it an all new figure. It's certainly using a lot of the same pieces as the original T-Rex, but um, upgrades where it counts. And certainly it looks the part of of a uh, Buck T-Rex from Lost World. Kind of an interesting inclusion here, being as this is a Jurassic Park set and they're 
including a uh, a dinosaur design from the second movie, right? A little strange, but I think this is probably their love letter to getting something that fans have requested in as a stretch goal to kind of, again, motivate people to back this initial project. But yeah, you, you'll get this um, with that initial backing price. Um, it's not like an extra or something. We just have to unlock it. Enough people have to back this campaign. And then finally, at 10,000 backers, the final uh, kind of stretch goal, as they're called, is you'll be getting uh, Lex uh, Lex Murphy, uh, you know, joining alongside Tim. Interesting um, tactic to break them up, but you do get Lex, and you can see she has some really nice detail. Even the, the paisley pattern on her shirt is there. She's got the hat, which is pretty fun. A little bit different than the Legacy Collection figure, anyway, in terms of uh, sort of her deco. And then alongside Lex, we also get... Uh, uh, quite a surprise. We get the infamous uh, goat from the Jurassic Park paddock. Looks like it has some really fine detail on it down to like the buckle around its neck um, and like the darker gray spots on its coat, literally just like the movie. Um, so uh, this is the last stretch goal. And I think it's kind of appropriate they include the goat because um, it's probably not a figure that everyone wants, but it's certainly a welcome extra. I'm certainly excited about it. And I would be excited for just the goat as is. But of course, if you're paying attention to that video, it does have some interactivity in that its leg pops off and there's a little bit of blood and gore underneath so you can throw it on top of the Explorer, literally just like the movie. So um, I love that total callback to the original Kenner Jurassic Park dino damage, right? Um, and and they're, they're bringing it back with this, this goat. So our first ever uh, Mattel mammal figure, right? Our first ever non-dinosaur figure. So you're going to be getting a goat. Again, if this campaign reaches 10,000 backers, and that's the whole thing with this Mattel Creations project is that does need support from collectors. I mean, to get everything in this picture, we need to hit 10,000 backers, but just to get the gates uh, and the Explorer, that's going to be 5,000 backers. So that means, um, you know, if you're in love with this stuff, you need to head on over to MattelCreations.com. That's the Mattel Creations website. And you can actually back this project now for the $250 base price, which will get you the uh, gate and Explorer and any unlocks like the Buck Rex, um, the Tim and Lex, the goat, all those will be extras along the way. As of right now with this video, um, it is in the first few hours of the campaign and we're only at about 381 backers with 7% funded. So a long way to go until uh, July 27th where we have to hit that minimum 5,000. But hopefully we hit the full um, tier of unlocks so we can get Lex and the goat and all that excellent stuff. But uh, very excited about this. Again, very important as, as a U.S. collector, you pledge your support now after 5,000 or I think it's actually... Uh, 6,000 backers, uh, or sorry, at 5,000 backers, they'll actually let um, international backers also purchase this. So be sure to um, pledge your support now. But yeah, I mean, that's basically, um, you know, the, the campaign in a nutshell, and I'm very excited about it. I've certainly already pledged my support to this and uh, grabbed one. So I hope if you're out there and you're interested, you consider doing the same because this is going to be um, probably one of the most sought after Jurassic collectibles that's ever been produced. So pretty exciting stuff. But I think that's all I got for this news update. Again, I'm Tim the Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.